This episode, it's all about party eagles. Oh yeah. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Utopia Cubed Age of Adventure. Welcome back, people. Uh, we are going to actually last, uh, la uh, continue where we last off, uh, last ended last episode. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, we have made ourselves a smeltery. Yeah, I'm really stoked for this thing because we can finally start making some alloys. Anyway, uh, I'm going to sleep first through the night and explain to you what we are going to do this episode. As you may all know, uh, I'm going to start building a... I don't know, a medieval typed building here. I don't know what exactly yet, but um, I do know one thing. And I do need a lot of stone. <laughs> I was like, what do I need again? <laughs> no, but I need a lot of stone. And as you see in my inventory, I have a large stone plate. A, st a stone large plate. Uh, I'm going to uh, make some aluminum brass. Um, I was first doing, trying, uh, going to do it with some uh, gold, but uh, I only have six gold, so I'm not going to do that. So I need some aluminum. And I thought I had some. Yeah, that's enough. Also, I updated the pack to uh, the latest one. And it's a little bit glitchy. So if you see some dirt pops here and there. Uh, that will be fixed in the future. But for now, uh, we will have to live with it. I was first doing it. Uh, was going to do it with the gold. But I actually need the gold that I have at the moment. For some other stuff like blood magic. Let's see. Blood magic. Uh, blood magic. Uh, for the uh, what's it call it? The dagger of sacrifice, the sacrificial knife. Yeah, I need some gold for it. It's only one gold, but if I can use an alternative to gold, uh, why not use it, right? So that smelled it up. Hopefully, it doesn't combine. I have a feeling it did, but because I see th see a little bit of something in the bottom but uh, we will see okay now the copper only needs to smell it i'm sorry i'll, I'll let you watch through this copper aluminum brass maybe i put in a little bit too much copper <laughs> uh, i thought we had some more aluminum yeah let's uh throw in six more yeah that would be sufficient because i do want to make some ingot cast anyway uh, let's make an uh do not an only an ingot cast i do want to make some other casts but uh, i'm pouring now the aluminum brass all right yeah I'm, oh yeah it cast did i just lost the ingot i think i did darn it <laughs> Uh, let's see what do we need to make more okay uh, we need one of these because uh, I do need to get uh, I do need a lot of stone oh you do lost the you do lose the things you need to use maybe that's a bug I will report it maybe we aren't on the latest one but uh, I'll report it later on okay are we still using aluminum oh yeah we have a lot of aluminum brass we can use all of it because uh, then I can make a lot of costs. But anyway, guys, uh, I wanted to make my first two lot of full iron and some. Um, what's, what can we use as secondary material? Because I'm only going to make the steel plates and stuff out of. Uh, uh, what's it call it? The large steel plates and stuff out of uh, iron and stuff like that because I don't want to go full iron because uh, there are also there are also some other tools you can use. Um, but I'm going to do that off camera uh, for now. I had something else to plan. Yeah, I can add these to there to this thing. So yeah, we have this uh, done. I do need uh, to mine up uh, to uh, make some more uh, crowd and stuff like that. Um, 
But I think I'm going to uh, make the tool for now. I think most of you know how, but uh, uh, so that I, I'm not going to show that uh, now on camera because that's kind of boring uh, if you know it. So uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to do some more prepare work. And if I am done, uh, if I have some stone, I think I'm going to start today on planning the layout of the building. Uh, so yeah, I think I will see you guys in a second, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. I have been mining a little bit. I have some stone, not a whole bunch, but I've enough to get started with uh, the simple outline of the structure. That's not my intention to place that block there. I'm also smelling up all the iron I have because I've mined quite a bit. Uh, if you see, I have a bunch of redstone, some gold. Found some gold, so I'm really stoked about that. Uh, didn't find uh, a lot of metallurgy's uh, medals because I don't know because the games hate me. Also, I got a uh, free uh, diamond upgrade on the pickaxe, so this is my new best pickaxe. Uh, this one and the other one that's like the the, the atomic pickaxe. Uh, it's still a good one for getting smooth stone, but uh, because I have a pretty decent amount of uh, trees growing all the time, I am pretty stocked on acacia wood, so also on charcoal. But uh, I think uh, we are going to start uh, a little bit with uh, laying out the basics of this, uh, the basic shapes of uh, of the of my uh, future big house. I think I'm going to first, uh, firstly. Um, do a little bit of landscaping because I want to have a little bit more space. Um, I think I'm going to cut out of uh, cut off uh, this part. I don't know until where, but I think I'm going to cut it off right here. So I do need to get some dirt. I'm going to get rid of. Uh, oh, this thing is slow on sand. Why is it so fast and like? Everything but sand. Ugh. I think I will grab my uh, shovel for this stuff because this is, is. I'm not going to mine this with this speed. It's just as fast as with the hand. Yeah, it is. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do a little bit of landscaping in here. So uh, I will see you guys in a second. Oh, welcome back to this new segment. Um, we're actually done with all the excavating for this episode. I might do in between episodes. I uh, want to get rid of this uh, island or this uh, hill here. I can show you the hill. It's not that big, but uh, I didn't feel like uh, I want to cut it off there. Like it's the hill is like going so. Um, because I kind of want to have the extra space and I think I might move this farm to there when that's done. But this episode we are going to start <coughs> playing out some uh, some of the rooms. So uh, first time uh, I'm going to uh, morph in bed. I uh, uh, morph in the bed. I forgot we had morph on the on this. Uh, still need to kill that guy. But I forgot that we had uh, morph on this uh, mod pack. So yeah, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of this patch of dirt or uh, things because I. Oh. Yeah, awesome. Okay, uh, that's good enough. Now it's good enough. Oh, I need that. Um, we have quite a big uh, patch of dirt, I have to say. Uh, I also thinking about uh, making this more uh, like slopery, so I have here more space. But I think I'm going to start with planning out the main area, and I kind of want to have it uh, above this thing, so I kind of need a little bit of dirt. So let's uh, grab uh, that. Uh, really quick. I also organized this a little bit because uh, we didn't have any um, mass charge mod. I asked them on uh, uh, the Utopia cubed uh, IRC and they said no we don't. So I'm like no and then I was like eh, let's use some lockers because lockers are pretty useful I have to say. They are, they are amazing. They are, can source stuff vertically instead of horizontally. So I'm going to fill this patch up really quick and I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, I filled this area up so we have a little bit more space. 
I've no idea yet where I want to have to get the, where I want to have the entrance because ooh, I now have an amazing idea actually. Uh, if you see my cursor, I was thinking about having a big building here with towers and stuff like that and walls. But I'm thinking about a little bit of an L-shaped structure. I don't know. Uh, what do you think uh, about that? I'm going to shape that out now. How much dirt do I have left? Not that much actually. So it might be the case that I have to... Oh, it, it might be the case that I have to get some dirt anyways this episode. Okay. I do, don't need that wood because I have a lot of CC. Uh, I think I'm going to start with just placing some random blocks and shape the walls after that. I think I'm going to do that with you guys and discuss what I'm doing. So you know my train of thoughts. Okay. I'm first going to... Um, I guess this is going to be... An, I, I, I think I'm going to be let this be an L-shaped building. I don't know yet. I'm going to start with this building here first. Or should we do a city? I have no idea actually. Let me do some quick thinking about this problem because I have no idea now what I want to do. I had some ideas but they are gone now because so many ideas are popping up now. So give me a second and uh, we'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, I think I have an idea. I think I'm going to make a small medieval castle. With without like an inner place, it will have a small inner place, maybe with a small fountain. I have no idea yet, but oh, I've also got a really full inventory of cleaning that field there. But anyway, I think I'm going to plan start planning out the, uh, the 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 things I have to plan out. I'm really precise today. I'm sorry for that. And <laughs> uh, let's crap. No, no. don't let crap. Uh, let's dump this uh, stuff here that I don't need. Let's see uh, long, oh Marcel. I, I also really want to get in. Uh, I, uh, I want to get in uh, necromancy. I have no idea why, but I think that mod would be cool. I think I'm going to start with a kind of a dungeon area because this is going to uh, this is getting into a dungeon. So uh, this room will be pretty small, I think. Uh, yeah, I think I would just lay down some blocks because if I don't lay down some uh, beginning blocks, I will, I won't go uh, anywhere <laughs> because I know myself and I'm pretty undecisive about some stuff. So yeah, I think this would be a good room. And of course, the floor. I think about. Uh, let's get the chisel really fast. I'm not going to chisel all the blocks yet, but just do one block. There it is. Uh, let's get rid of the wood. Because I don't really need the wood at the moment and the sand is going to get here. Let's get up. Yeah, I'm thinking about uh, getting this as the floor because this is, I, I kind of need a broken thing because the dungeon isn't going to be a nice place to be. So I kind of want to have a little best out area. Yeah, I think that would look great. Uh, it will have uh, some fancy walls, maybe, maybe not. Oh, maybe I can also do some less fancy walls and do here like a double layer. So I can have uh, like it more disguised. Because the room is small, it will be kind of nice idea. It looks really bulky now, but if I have the walls up, it will be, I don't know how high. The door will be just too high for show, for sure. <laughs> Um, but I think the rest of it would be far high. I need a little bit more stone. Uh, let's grab more stone. Yeah, I think this would be a great height. That's so. I'm used to having like uh, the morph uh, favorite thing on Q because I used to have that on Arthur, but kind of forgot the key bindings how to change it because morph has a special one. But uh, let's see. Yeah, four seems high enough. I think I will do here some uh, some uh, windows, some uh, some uh, holes to the skyline uh, because this is going to be somewhere in the middle of the building. I think because this is going to be special uh, special place, like a prison dungeon, if you may uh, call it by that name. Yeah, I kind of like that uh, idea. 
let's uh, morph back. Okay, uh, now we have here the prison dungeon. Ooh, I might do this differently. Because we already have here a room, I might just get rid of this room. And have this as a nice room. And it has something like a hatchet that's going down and stuff. Yeah, let's... I think that's a good idea. I, I kind of like that idea. Let's get rid of this stone really quick because this uh, is going to be a different kind of ladder um, down here to down here. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. So we can also get rid of this double wall. So let me do that really quick. Alright guys, uh, let's continue planning. I also thinking about just putting this... Oh, nope. <laughs> Don't fall that way. Uh, doing that uh, wall, uh, that has the wall here, yeah, and do some other, other, other kind of uh, chisel blocks over there. Um, okay, and uh, do something like that. I think it might extend. I don't know what. Ooh, I don't know. I might have a, a like a staircase coming down from there. I think it would be nicer to have it down from here because this is going to be the inner castle and I want to have this room a little bit here. So uh, let me do some planning uh, a little bit about this entrance room. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, I think I have planned at least for now. This would be the entrance and so one by one and there's a staircase going down. Pretty simple idea, but I think I really like it. What's this block here? I don't know. Uh, I really liked the idea. Also, the screaming of the demons on the hair. I couldn't. I was looking to disable it, but it's kind of looking nice because it doesn't have like infinite range. But it 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 does scare you a little bit to come down here. Also, this would be a little bit more darker. I will place redstone torches all over the place. But I think it would do now. I, I'm not sure about that redstone torch idea. I'm also thinking about doing lava light ceiling. Is that even a word? Lava light ceiling? Uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> let's, let's not uh, focus on that. My English is really bad idea. Uh, bad, I think. Uh, bad uh, today. I'm so, Wow. Ugh. Anyway, uh, let's continue to do some more planning. Because I can, I'm kind of really stuck about it. Oh, press the wrong key again. Let's morph into the bed then, again. So I still have Hellfire there. So yeah, <laughs> I, I kind of like it. I'm kind of sad you can't pick it up. Or do you? Oh, I might have an idea how, uh, how you can pick uh, uh, stuff like that up. Because that isn't actually a lava entity. It's actually a block entity. So I'm kind of curious what you can do with it. Anyway, let's continue with this. <laughs> Getting too distracted again. <laughs> um, so uh, what do you most of the time put... Uh, like... Across a prison... I have actually no idea, but I'm going to leave the. Uh, I think three wide would be wide enough. Oh, one key again. Yeah, I think three would be wide enough. Yeah. Mm, a prison. What do we have? I think an armory would be cool. Yeah, I think this an army would uh, here would be cool. Do we have armor stands? Let's see. Oh, a key got dropped. I think we have. Oh, that's not armor. Or some stand. Awesome! Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, this is really cool. Armor stand, yes, we have. Awesome. Also, bibliocraft. I don't know which one I'm going to use. Uh, I think I'm going to use both. Uh, okay, let's. I think I'm also going to use a one by one door here. I think I'm going to use the invisible. Uh, What's it called? It uh, invisible uh, pressure plates. Obsidian. Do we have obsidian pressure plates in here? Let's look really quick. I don't think so, though. Let's see. Way too much obsidian. It seems like we don't, but we have an arcane from Tomcraft, and I'm planning to get in Tomcraft soon. So, ooh, oh yeah, we have pressure plate. So yes, we can do that. 
So there will be a door here, so let's do that really quick. And I think I'm going to, um, what should we call it, uh, match up the doors with the walls. And have the only thing that uh, that indicates that we have a door here, like an, uh, an indent from this thing. So uh, I, I don't know how it looks. If it looks horrible, I will uh, do it one more inset and do a proper door. But I, I don't know about yet, that yet. I first want to get the layout uh, a little bit more, more settled, but then uh, we have now, like, we have this only. So, um, oh. Constantly want to press Q. I really have to change that because I'm so used to have the uh, morph thing on Q. So let's. Oh, please. Okay. That went uh, well. Oh, no. Get down. It's getting night. <laughs> okay. Let's have a sleep. What do we need in an armory? I think I will put in some lockers, but not the basic ones. I think I will put in the basic ones first because I don't have infinite iron. I do have a lot of iron at the moment, but I kind of want to save that for like later on. Also, I'm going to put that a little bit more down because it's kind of kind of annoying. Yeah, that's way better now. Uh, how wide do we need this room? I do want to keep it symmetrical. Army rooms are most of the time quite important, but I don't want to stuff it away. I'm, I'm going to really get really quick and mark because I kind of want to have an, a flyable overview. Oh, Yeah, I think this is a nice size. I might give it a corner. I might shrink this side down a little bit that way, like take two of it, like doing this. Uh, yes, and do something like this because an army is most of the time quite important for a castle. I think I'm not a current castle expert, but uh, I, I was kind of interested in castles for a while. I think I want to get rid of this block and get this way. So I do have a lot of space in here, but I'm also not sure if this castle will look all right in the end, but uh, we will tweak it. I, I never actually did a big project before, but uh, I don't know. I feel like doing an all out project and just learn from it. I, I still need to learn a lot. Also like YouTube wise, I need to learn a lot. I was also, uh, like, in the beginning, I was, I've recorded, like, the intro of this episode, like, three times, and it filled all, every time, and I was like, do I ever get this finished? <laughs> do I ever get a proper, nice intro for the people who uh, watch me? I think I'm uh, putting another small, small, small room here to fill up this gap. I mean, oh, do the start thing. Yes, Silk Dutch. Am I happy with that? Yes, I am actually because that's the opposite of smelting. Hmm. I don't know if I'm too happy with that, but we will go with it. Well, smooth silk touch is actually quite nice. It saves up on inventory space. Anyway, yeah, we can uh, do here some uh, some small charge space because this isn't going to be a humongous castle. It's going to be a big one, but. A nice big one. Hmm. Yeah. I was like, shouldn't I have like this also removed? But I'm planning to push my castle a little bit more backwards, so I need to clear that terrain and that a little bit more. So this uh, this would be moved back in time, and this would be moved, should be going there in some time. But for now, it's all right, I think. Yeah. Also thinking about like, because I don't, I do want to have a grand entrance to like this place. I think I'm thinking about. Let's build a wall here really quick. This is all getting replaced at some point, but uh, for now it's going to be cobblestone because I don't have anything else in the surplus. So yeah, I'm planning to do something like this and add a little bit of a stair here. Oh yeah, copper block is really annoying by that. Oh yeah, thank you. I'm thinking about like putting in staircase here, not that way. 
this way. And have this one gone. Oh no, that should be there. Oh. I kind of dislike uh, a thing that Forge does like let you mine stuff slower when you're like flying and stuff. I know it's balancing the game a little bit more, but I don't know about that. I, I kind of dislike it. Especially when you are in bed mode. Maybe Aichan can do something about that. <laughs> I don't think he would because he already nerfed Morph uh, quite a bit because it was really overpowered. So yeah, I do need my crafting table, crafting station. Because I need some slabs. How can I make slabs? Can I do the scroll thing with this? Usage slabs. Are there any carpenter's slabs? I don't think so, sadly. Daylight sensor? Cool, cool. Hmm, I don't think there are any slabs. Oh, there are, but you need this up. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys in a second so I can get the hammer. Alright guys, I have the hammer. Okay, let's place down some blocks. Uh, let's see, let's see what we can do. I think it's like this and right click on that. Oh yeah, that's ex ex exactly what I was looking for. But I think that's a little bit getting too high. I think this is the right height so I can get rid of this and this. And also get rid of this and this. I don't want to have it too grand, like too high and stuff like that, but I... Come on, fly. Stupid thing. Let's see, let's see. Sounds about right. I... Also the funny thing is you can like see through the blocks. <laughs> I'm curious if you can make a vanilla x-ray machine with this thing. So now let's hammer down this part. I do need some blocks here. Let's see. Oh, I didn't know they did that. Okay, let's get rid of them. Stop, stop, stop. I love how fast you, how fast you can break these things. It's like, like you see really fast. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to find a word, but I already showed it. It's like really fast. <laughs> so I didn't really need to like, uh, explain myself more. Okay, let's play some... I think the floor here would be nice. Because... I don't know, I have a little bit of an image of World of Warcraft in my head. I don't know why I never played that game. I do did play it, but... Yeah, let's not talk about that. But uh, it's, it's kind of an image I saw with a friend when he was playing World of Warcraft. And I kind of have that image now in my head. Let's see. It's not exactly like on World of Warcraft. I don't know, I, can, I can't really explain it. Like, uh, oh, no, wrong key again, damn it. Stop throwing away my stuff. <laughs> okay, like, you're getting in here with the door and you see, it feels really high, like too high. Yeah, let me lower it one more and let's see how it is. Oh yeah, guys, I think I really like this design. Like you have here, like a little bit uh, ways up. I think I will uh, enlarge it a little bit more, but I think this is going to be a thing. <laughs> Not a real thing, but just a thing. I do want to change this up really quick to like an upside down stair, so I can have a little bit more nice stair. Nope, Thank you. That's, please, let me, yeah. <laughs> Ah, cool, 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 cool! I really love this. I, 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 I it doesn't mean uh, it doesn't really s seems like a lot, but I can envision it like right in front of me. Like, I think I'm Im imagining this as being a like a darker color. And let's see, that's not the thing I was looking for. Competition gates thing. I thought I had some wood on me. Yeah, our sticks better. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's make this happen. Well, that was an insta crash. <laughs> anyway, ah, we crafted the thing, so. 
let's get rid of that really quick because uh, before it causes any more any more crashes anyway uh, I was planning to place on here a fence oh I kind of dislike it's all connecting I guess that's normal oh I, ooh, yeah I forgot that you can change stuff like blocks up dang it uh, what's the thing there nope oh yeah maybe that one okay let's get rid of these and let's place the rest down yes i really like this i don't know what's this going to be i i'm thinking really expensive i kind of want to have this like uh the uh, go be golden blocks <laughs> i know i know it's really expensive but imagine this like Ooh, I really need to get that. I was thinking about this a darker type of wood than some uh, some gold. Like that would look amazing if you ask me. And also this would be connected to a wall. So, oh yeah, I I really can imagine it. I I really love the idea of having this as gold blocks and this as a darker wood. I I really like it. It would be expensive, I know, but yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, th I think I'm pretty much done with planning this room out because uh, the rest is going to be all fiddly, fiddly stuff. So like precise placing of blocks and stuff like that. I first want to get like uh, the rough uh, shape of it. I think I can add like a height of the roof of the final roof. Oh, that would be looking amazing, like a high roof here. Ooh, yeah. So let's finish the roof. Okay, this is like. Let's see how high this is. Three and a half, so four basically. And then I want to have this also four high. One, one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, let's see. Oh, what's the height of this thing? Seven. This one too high? Okay, one more down. Oh yeah, imagine, uh, um, imagine like a big grand window here. I don't know, I think uh, it isn't possible to get a grand window here because uh, I do want to have another like, um, what does it call? Um, the word where I was looking for was floor. <laughs> I want to get another, oh, I want to get another floor on here because I don't know, it's a castle and I do want to have a little bit of a higher uh, middle middle section. So yeah, I kind of like the looks, looks of this actually. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm, I may want to have one hallway down here, but I'm also like, thinking about having a T section here. So yeah, I don't know yet. If I want to have a T-section, I do want to get the wall a little bit more out here. I don't know about yet. yet. I also can do something else here. Like, I can... Ooh. Because I can't, like, move this one over because this would be then off-centered. And I don't want to have that off-centered. But I can move this one more up. Or I can give it a little bit more space. I think I would... Yeah, I would do that. Yeah, I'm going to move up this well so I uh, give me uh, I think I can do that later on I will do it later on I will first place that there and then a main hallway here so I'm thinking about doing this like four wide yeah a four wide will, would be nice because this is going to be a little bit of an offspring and I think I want to have like a main hallway going here and here and maybe one here or maybe have one here and a small hallway here so and a main one here yeah i think i would do that so here's going to be another three wide hallway so let's mark that off really quick and i think i'm going to use here a darker type of wood and use some carpenters i uh, know some chiseled uh carpenters yeah that's right i was kind of confused about that <laughs> like because there was carpenters in it <laughs> so yeah Mm, look this will be looking great there is going to be a main hall here or entrance Ooh. what about having like I'm thinking at the moment I'm thinking about having here a three thick wall here so let's mark it off here I know it's a little bit big but uh, I 
think this is going to be an entrance like the main entrance here. I don't know about that yet though. So much ideas, my head is like going all the way now. <laughs> so I might talk a little bit derp at the moment, or yeah, a little bit derpy at the moment, but thinking a little bit. So give me a second, I will be right back with you guys when I have some more things. I might build on a little bit more without having to talk. So see you guys in a second, oh yeah. All right, guys, I already found out we already passed the 30 minute marks of this episode. I'm sorry for that, guys, but I had so much fun with this episode, to be fair. Anyway, guys, I have added here a quick uh, restroom and a mess hall. I don't know if this is a mess hall by name, but uh, I named it. And this is going to be a prison. So, yeah, I haven't done much yet, but I've done a little bit of planning. I really like how this is turning out. This isn't going to be the main outer wall, but this is going to be a outer wall. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, I really want to thank you guys all again for watching. Uh, let's morph into myself and do it more personal. Thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I also want to thank the Utopia Cubed uh, community for this server. I will uh, link there. Uh, channel and their uh, forums in the description below I think I will do that from now on because they are such an awesome community I have owed them a lot uh, like uh, I want to thank people like Namson for making this modpack and the community uh, happening Echo the Gamer uh, Corianje who is also a Dutch guy I want to thank him for uh, for uh, well, he didn't show me, but uh, if I am, I found out about Utopia Cubed and their mod pack. Also, Teddy here for, uh, I think he made a, a tutorial about uh, the Tinker's Contract th uh, crafting and also Udeldor. I speak to him sometimes via IRC. Also, Thrak is an awesome guy with an awesome accent. And that's basically people who I wanted to mention. Also, don't forget the other guys. They are also really amazing what I watch all of their videos, just like it all. Uh, I will link their, uh, I will link uh, the link to their channels all in the description below. So if you want to find more about uh, their stuff, uh, just look in the description. I highly suggest that. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. I will see you guys later. Bye bye.